welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part seven of Universe Mode. Um, I think by the time you'll be watching this, the chase has actually happened. I know a couple of episodes I said that, but anyways, um, it will have happened now, um, and I hope I won. That's my prediction that Team LEG went through to the finals. Who knows? But we've got a stacked card for you tonight, which will be headlined by this main event. A triple threat ladder match with Ricochet, Kevin Owens and Alistair Black. What a way to end the night. But we've got even more amazing matches that I will show you right now. And we've got two of the uh, more rated superstars, AJ Styles and Dolph Ziggler in a match. We've also got Randy Orton versus Samoa Joe. And we've also got Drew McIntyre against a mystery opponent that Roman Reigns will choose. So let's get into tonight's show. Welcome. Tonight's episode of Monday Night Raw. As you can see the stage has come back to its normal one because it the one that we used before didn't look good and the lighting had some problems. So Welcome back to the old stage raw, but some new stuff implemented, as you can see at the top of the screen. Got some new graphics. But well, let's get into tonight's show, shall we? By the way, as you know, if you hear stuff in the background, besides from the music, uh, that's my cat ruffling about. But anyways, Roman Reigns and his his chief advisor. Paul Heyman are out here tonight, but what for? Everyone here tonight and everyone across the globe has seen what my clients are capable of. My client here tonight is capable of even more instruction than all of my previous clients, <coughs> Frock Lesnar. So let me warn all of you before we get going, I do have a monster on my hands. Normally I come out here and tell you how great my client is, I repeat over and over and over and over my client's accomplishments. I encourage all of you to see the value of my client until you have no choice. So now, let's skip the pleasantries because I am pissed off. Well I sincerely love to stay in chat, I must tell you all the reasons for my appearance. My client will no longer be overlooked. He will do everything in his power to destroy every single WWE superstar or fan that steps in his way. You hear that, Hunter? We're calling you out. If you have the grapefruits to flourish yours, just client our request. That's what I thought. You're even more of a coward than your father in law, so please respect my client's desires. I can't hold him back forever. So, what's next? Mayhem, chaos, destruction, hell. My client's best trades. Keep away, ladies and gentlemen. Keep your children away and pray to God that things can change for the better. Because my client is here to destroy. Well, it's like they were just out here to brag. Um, but of course, we know tonight McIntyre has to face an opponent of Roman's choosing. Um, and also, just let you guys know, there's kind of a. Alistair Black is the IC type champion now. Um, and also brought Lesnar's out for three months because my capture card decided to not record anything. But anyways, we have Keith Lee versus Paul Cruz first up, and the winner of that match is Keith Lee. But let's get into AJ Styles versus Dolph Ziggler. Also, I put out a thing for you guys, and um, I have decided I'm not going to play the important matches, I'll just play the ones that don't really matter. Just so it doesn't ruin the universe mode and it won't be like me with everything, if you know what I mean. But let's get into this matchup. So 
we've seen Heath Lee versus Apollo Crews first off, and now we are going to see AJ Styles taking on the one, the probably one of the most consistent wrestlers in the roster, Dolph Ziggler. Both very similar in their own rights, and oh, oh my! It's the dead man. Oh my! Oh my! A brutal clothesline by the dead man. Why is he here? What? Why is the Undertaker? Why is the Undertaker out here? What has he? What is his deal with AJ? AJ just reverses the Undertaker. Oh, a brutal kick to the stomach by the dead man. Oh, AJ reverses the Undertaker. He's running down to the ring. For some reason. Oh, the both in the ring? Oh, Taker reverses. Don't know. Another stomp to the arm. Throws AJ off the ropes. And what's he going to do? Big boot block by AJ. And AJ. Oh, another reversal by the Undertaker. What's that going to do here? He's carrying Styles over. Oh, hits him against the oh, power slam. Undertaker won this bout. But why was he here? We don't know, we'll have to find out next time, but let's move on to the next matchup we have. So we've got Alexa Bliss versus Natalia, and the winner of this one was Natalia. Okay, the next one Samoa Joe versus Randy Orton. Let's get into it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Probably the match of the night tonight, aside from the IC title match. But here we have the Samoan Submission Machine. Samoa Joe. Joe's been on a tear recently. Um, in the last episode, he beat up both. AJ Styles and Randy Orton but tonight if it would have been that last episode it's the episode that I tried to record but sorry but Randy wants revenge and can he get it tonight let's find out let's bring out the Viper here he comes right now the 14 time World Heavyweight Champion, the Apex Predator, the Viper, the Snake, the Legend Killer, the Apex Predator, the three biggest letters in sports entertainment, not WWE. Ah, K, O, and will he be able to deliver that to Samoa Joe? Let's get right. That's let's wait for the odds to do the pose. But whilst he's doing that, um, if you wonder why I've been doing a lot of universe and not much film content, um, I'm kind of taking a, a week break from film. And after the first 10 episodes of Universe Mode, I will space out the Universe Mode to be every 3 days. And in between them, it will be film stuff. I don't want to just keep doing random kids stuff, I want to do more in depth stuff with it. But, um, yeah. Anyways, here he is. The iconic pose. Of Randy Orton. Let's get into this. 
Joe, Orton. Let's do this. I'll be playing a slow Joe because this match isn't vital. I don't know if that's these two men, but it isn't vital to the storyline of Raw. I know this shit. Oh, Joe pushing Randy off the ropes. What's he going to do here? Oh, elbow to the chest of Orton. Picks up Randy. Throws him in the corner. And, oh, Orton reverses. Oh, what a revenge after last week. After Joe putting through a table. After his gruesome match with Styles. Oh, big boot by Joe. Oh, what's Joe doing here? Sent on to Randy Orton. Kick to the back. Joe just playing with his food right now. Oh, reverses. Picks up Joe. Oh, what's he going to do here? Oh, neck breaker to Joe. Joe kicks up for the count of one. We all want Joe, one of Samoa Joe's main goals have been ever since he came to WWE and that was to take out the big stars of the company and without a doubt Randy Orton is one of those stars oh Randy Orton reverses he puts Joe to the top rope oh what's he going to do here the infamous suplex that is well known within Orton's family Oh, right on the canvas. Uh, coming out by Orton. One, two. Oh, Joe just kicks out. Joe gets straight back up. Oh, Orton tries to do some sort of body slam, but Joe reverses and goes with a drop kick. Orton straight back up, and Joe with a headbutt. Joe turning Orton over. What looks like the accolade, but rope break there. Oh, Orton sat to the face of Joe. Oh, oh bru brutal combo. Joe just waiting for Randy to get up. Orton crawling to the feet of Joe. But Joe with a kick to the body of Orton. What are you going to do here? A, a standing urinagi. Oh, what's Joe doing here? Oh! Ends a gurry to Randy Orton. Orton. Orton with a brutal punch to Joe that sends him to the floor. Oh, Joe. Put some combos on his own here. Oh! Joe took too long with a chop there, and on with a wrestling slam. What's Joe doing? Joe rolls out the ring. Oh. Brutal spinning slaps to Orton, and a suplex. He knows Orton very well. He has studied Orton for the last 10 years as a fan. Oh! Reversed by Randy. Into the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In the corner. And Randy with a cover. Kick out before the count of one. Joe. Joe. Breaking out of the hold that Owen has him in. Oh, brutal elbows to the stomach of Orton. Oh, what's Joe doing here? Pushing him against the corner. And a German suplex. Oh, 
another standing Uranage. Joe dragging Orton's lifeless corpse to the centre of the ring and a cover one, two, kick out by Randy. Will Joe have to pull it out? Oh, another kick missed. Oh, and a drop kick by Samoa Joe Orton crawling out of the ring. Joe just going out of the ring. Oh, a kick to the stomach of Randy. And he has him up. No, Joe, we saw him doing this last time when he assaulted him. And a power bomb to the barricade. Oh, not another one. Joe again has Orton up. Oh, what's he doing here? Oh, Joe collapses. Could hold Orton. Oh, Joe. Elbows to the abdomen of Orton. Orton with a reversal to Joe and a punch by Samoa Joe there what's Orton doing hanging Joe by the rope and Joe comes back down Orton picking Joe up what's he doing here throws Joe oh no Vincent Orton DDT oh it's time, the voices in his head are singing, RKO! Oh, a kick out by Joe at two and a half. Oh, Joe reverses. Oh, turns forward around. Oh, no. The coquina clutch, button. Headbutt to Joe and he gets out of it. Orton to the arm of Samoa Joe and just picking apart Joe's body parts the legs just going after everything here oh wrenching the neck of Joe again and one more time for good measures cover oh Joe kicks out Picks up Joe. Oh, go oh, with an elbow towards his face and he's bleeding. S spins all around. Will he do it? Koki and a clutch is in. He has Orton where he wants him. Very gruesome hold here, but. Joe lets go of Randy. Oh, kicks to the face of Orton. Jesus Christ, look at Randy. I haven't seen him like this since he faced Mark Henry. Just a lifeless corpse. The bloodbath of Samoa. Joe is in play. Oh, or reverses. He has Joe on the apron. Oh, Joe reverses. And rolls him over. Oh, kicks out straight away. Oh, Bob going for a punt. Oh, or reverses. Kicked him in the knee. Oh, no. Orton. Again. Spiked. D. D. T. By Randy. Joe was just looking up at the stars there. 
this is gruesome showdown between these two menaces. Oh, and throws Joe. Oh, Joe reverses and goes for. What's he doing here? Oh, German suplex. Oh, another suplex. And finally, another suplex. Cover one, two. Oh, and kicks out. I think Joe knows what he has to do. Oh, Orton reverses the punch. And throws Joe into the corner. Turns him around. What's he doing here? Oh, we're getting Joe up. Not again. He has Joe. Oh, a punch to the face. No, no, no. A top rope. RKO on a top rope RKO by Randy Orton. Oh my god. This has to be it. Cover one, two, three. Orton gets his revenge on Joe. And your winner. After a group. A gruesome and a brilliant showdown. Randy Orton using the three most destructive letters in all of sports entertainment to get the win. Joe had the coquina clutch on Orton, but Orton just persevered. Oh. Oh no. It's the Fiend. Oh my god, the Fiend is here for Orton. Oh, a brutal power slam. Ball straight back up and a drop kick to what to the Fiend. What? This is not going to end well between these two men. Oh, Orton, we have punched to the gut. And, oh, has why he has the, he has the Fiend on the ropes. Vintage Orton. Calling for Wyatt to get up. And a RKO for good measures. Randy is on a different level tonight. Love gets head treated though. But. We still have two more matches to wait for. Drew McIntyre versus a mystery opponent and the triple threat IT title match. Let's see how they pan out. Tonight's stipulation of McIntyre's match. If McIntyre loses, Reigns picks the stipulation. But if McIntyre wins, he picks the stipulation. Let's bring out the Scottish psychopath, the warlord. The former two-time WWE Champion. There he is. This man has faced the likes of Randy Orton, Seth Rollins, Bobby Lashley. And has beaten them all. I uh, even faced Roman Reigns a couple of times before this and has beaten him. But this is a new Roman Reigns. But also this is a new Drew McIntyre. They're both beaten Brock Lesnar. So who is better? We're going to find out money in the bank for the world title. But this is to decide the stipulation for the match. Let's see who Roman Reigns has selected. Hold on a second. Oh my God! <laughs> Roman Reigns has picked Kurt Hawkins.
but he is also accompanied by the tribal chief and his advocate. This is going to be a bit of a more difficult task than we thought. If it was just Kurt Hawkins then Drew would have no problem but he has to deal with the tribal chief himself at ringside. Let's get into this. McIntyre, Hawkins. Oh! Shoulder charge to Kurt. Oh, Kurt reverses McIntyre. I wonder why Reigns chose Hawkins. Who knows? These cement are, uh, if you're wondering, I am controlling Roman. Sorry. Yeah, I'm controlling Reigns. McIntyre just destroyed Kurt Hawkins at the start here. Roman and Paul just looking on at them. Ah, there we go. Kurt actually has the upper hand here. I have no idea how, but he does. He's got Drew in, in uh, some holds here which will help him. Oh, Drew knocks down Kurt. Ray's trying to get his attention, but nothing worked. What's Ray's doing here? Under the ring now. Pulls out a steel chair. Ray's trying to distract McIntyre here. Oh, a headbutt! Oh. What's Roman doing? Distracting Drew. Let's see. Oh, what? Just an arm stunner to McIntyre. Sorry if I'm not commentating much. I'm just watching. Trying to figure out what I can do here. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. I'll leave there for a second. But, anyways. Back to the match up here. Oh, a clothesline by Hawkins. Looks like this matchup is a bit closer than we expected. Oh, a super kick to McIntyre. Roman tried to stop McIntyre from getting the ring there, but nothing worked. Oh, Hawkins. Kick out at one by McIntyre. Like Drew's not going to give in. Oh, a clothesline by Hawkins. A 
cover again. One. Oh, McIntyre throwing him across the ring. Reigns distracting yet again. Allowing for Kurt to get behind McIntyre and back body drop. I can see why now he chose Kurt. Imagine the embarrassment that will happen to McIntyre if he loses to Hawkins. Cover after an elbow drop one. Two. Oh, McIntyre kicks out just at the count of two. Kurt picking up McIntyre. McIntyre with an elbow to him. What's he going to do here? A headbutt by McIntyre. McIntyre backs up into the corner. Oh, Reigns, what's he doing? He's distracting him. I think McIntyre was meant to go for the Claymore. McIntyre staring down Reigns. Oh, Hawkins, what's he doing? Oh, Mishinoku driver. Cover one. Oh, McIntyre kicks out the cow one. What does he have to do here? Jesus Christ. Um, I think we'll restart this one because I don't think this is how it will deserve to go down. Let's restart that one, shall we? Uh, just felt right. I want this match to actually have an ending. See Paul watching from the side here. Rain circling the ring. Alright, why has he got the still steps on? McIntyre already has advantage over Hawkins. Oh! In the corner. McIntyre again in the tree of woe. Paul and Roman talking. Oh, where's McIntyre having an argument here? Well, oh, McIntyre just slapped Reigns. Reigns will have to take that for now. Until the end of the match. Oh, drops him on his head. Oh, a headbutt, which is... Reverse by Hawkins. Hawkins throws him out of the ring. Roll was bad to go over and distract McIntyre. Raymond Heyman's still talking. Distracting him and oh, Hawkins with a suplex. What's Paul doing here? McIntyre doing turns Hawkins around. Oh, an elbow to McIntyre. And slams him on the ground. <gasps> Hawkins about to use a chair. Oh, McIntyre hits Hawkins before he wastes it in the corner.
Hawk in safe time, a bit of an advantage here against McIntyre. Hawkins. Oh, the finishing manoeuvre. Will that be it? One, two. McIntyre kicks out of the collar. Two. Oh, let me see if I can quickly change targets so I can actually get back. Oh, Reigns throwing him and away from the situation. Oh, Reigns advising Hawkins here. Oh, his next maneuver against McIntyre. Oh, Reigns distracted McIntyre. Hawkins gets straight back up. Throws McIntyre against the ropes and nothing came out of that. Oh, McIntyre throws Hawkins off. I think McIntyre's back to go into the corner for a play more, but Hawkins got up quickly expected. Where's Paulie? There we go. Oh, what am I, what am I doing? I don't, I don't know why I hit him there, that's my bad. Anyways, let's return to this. What's Kurt doing here? That's McIntyre with the Oh, McIntyre with a boot! And a Russian leg sweep! Oh, turns him over. A side. So packed into a powerbomb. McIntyre hogs up for Scottish kiss. Cover. Oh. McIntyre wins. I think Reigns was trying to distract the ref, but the ref wouldn't listen to any of it. And a win by McIntyre. It was like Drew will be picking the stipulation for their match at Money in the Bank. Reigns obviously disappointed. But we have the main event which is coming up right now. But which stipulation will McIntyre choose? We'll figure that out next. See what happens there. Oh wait, why is Styles out here? Bit of a limp on him. Well after earlier he was meant to face. Oh. He was meant to face Ziggler, but he got the hands of the Undertaker. Here we go again. Another arena, another town, another shot. Yet no matter, no matter how many miles ago, I'm chased by the same nasty rumors about my character and conduct. I think it's time we get to the source. What do you guys think? I'm trying to figure out why all you keep cheering for the same guy week in, week out, where you could be cheering for me. That's a word for guys like him. It's the worst word in WWE Superstar can be called in my book. Boring! He probably thought he could run and hide forever. Thought he could just shoot off his mouth and he'd never have to answer for it. Well, Undertaker, tonight's night you answer for it. Finally, the dead man appears in front of the stars instead of behind him. Take a point at Styles, just like Tad Meekin. It looks like he is. Oh, I, I can't just stand idly by the back and let you all suffer from the blowhard that is this man currently standing opposite me in the ring. 
allow me the pleasure of sparing you great people from this rambling tirades tyrants before everyone in this arena falls asleep faster you can say snooze fest wait do you guys hear something it's the strangest faint and sound like a big baby cry way off in the distance anyone is it just me so strange usually when babies cry it's almost something like spilled milk or something they could have been hurt which isn't a difficult thing since you know they're babies You might not know this, but I actually think you're an amazing superstar. You've achieved so much of your time here. Every respect to the fans of the locker room. That's why I want to fight you. You'll be my greatest challenge yet. If I can beat you, then I'll be one step closer to being the best. For all the trash lights talk, maybe you should switch careers and become a garbage man. That way you get to spend as much time among, cra among trash as you'd like. I'll just put it with management more. We all know that trash begots trash, and they be able to might be able to help you more than you can help yourself. I'm out here because I need to prove something, not to the WWE uh, universe, not to management, but to myself. I have proved that I'm in hiding, that I belong in the upper echelon. I'm obsessed with it, and around here you're the best. So it's nothing personal, you've got something that I want. A reputation. Clearly you've got a screw loose or something. Because you don't know who you're messing with. I'm not just a superstar, I'm one of the best damn superstars in WWE has in its roster. If you want to face me in this ring, that's fine with me. I have no problem making you look bad in front of millions of fans around the world. This is exactly what's wrong with the WWE today. He's not any blowhard come out to the ring and ramble on and on about what they're going to do as opposed to actually coming out and doing it. Me, I'm the type of guy that first access to words and that's why I'm out here right now. Let me say I don't appreciate you taking action and coming out here, here to interrupt me. If you've got something to say to me, I'm not a hard man to fight. However, it doesn't sound like you want a conversation, it sounds like you want to fight. Far be it for me to turn my tail and run, so come on down. Hold on, did you think I was just asking for a fight? Nah, nah, nah. I'm telling you right now, we will fight. Whether it's now, at the pay-per-view event, whatever. It won't just be once either. I will kick your ass enough for a lifetime. The WWE Universe will love every minute of it. AJ with a pipe bomb just shouldering a Undertaker. What a promo between these two guys. I can't wait to see these two fight at Buddy in the Bank. Let's finally get to the main event. Here we go, the match we've been waiting for all night. The main event. First up, the king, the new king of high flying. Ricochet. If you wonder where this man's IC title is, um, in the episode that I didn't record, Alistair uh, took back the title after defeating Ricochet in a steel cage match. But, let's get out the next competitor. Here he is. The man Alistair Black beat at Extreme Rules. Kevin Owens. He fell back after a slight knee injury. Kevin tweaked his knee at the event. He thought a tad bit dodgy when Alistair Black delivered the black mask that ended him. But will Kevin get back his title? 
in time for money in the bank. Because we know that the champion will choose his challenger for the IC title. Well, we don't know who the champion is. This will be the last match between these three, unless the winner chooses one of these two at their challenger. But here we go. We can see the IC title hanging above the ring. Where is it? Oh, baby, it's time. There he is. Alistair Black This man for me so far is superstar of the series this man has had so many great matches and tonight he deserves this main event triple threat match it was going to be Drew McIntyre against Swerve for the opponent watch which was Kurt Hawkins but we decided this was more high profile than Drew McIntyre and a mystery opponent but this match is going to be potentially one of the matches of the year all three men formerly from NXT and all three men approved and sent by Triple H to the roster none have had a bigger impact though to the roster on their first night than Kevin Owens as he defeated John Cena his first night, stamped on the US title, raised NXT title in the air, and that started NXT's rise. Well, it's all for, ladies and gentlemen, the Intercontinental Championship. Ricochet, Kevin Owens, Alistair Black. It's time! Ricochet, we have four out of Black. Owens just crawling out the ring and so Ricochet. Oh, punch to Owens! Ricochet, no. Go for a combo. Owens reversed. Owens go for a belly belly, but Ricochet reverses. Black on the other side with a ladder already. Have they both realised it yet? Oh, against the apron. Kevin, you might want to. There we go. I want to pay attention to Black here. Oh, what's Ricochet doing? Is he able to. No. Oh, Owens at the top of the ladder. Can Ricochet push him off? And he does. Owens landed on his tailbone, and so did Black. Black taking advantage of the two fight and went for it early. But it wasn't enough. It looked like Ricochet weren't strong enough to push the ladder off, but both of the men were in it. Black rolling out now, taking time to reserve his energy. Whilst these two men continue to fight it out. Kevin is angry at Ricochet because apparently Ricochet took Kevin Owens' matches away from him against Black. But we all know that it was an open challenge and also a re- Oh, against the ladder! a rematch and an open challenge. Kevin was meant to answer the challenge for Black but declined and then came out Ricochet. Black doing all the hits coming with the ladder. Again but Owens reverses. Gets him again. Gets him again. Oh Ricochet's up. To the top rope. 
Egging always to get up, but Ricochet has to notice Black. Oh, knees! Ricochet, Black is right in front of you, what are you going to do? What's he doing? Um. Okay. <laughs> well, that was something. I'm sorry, but I have to do that one again. It's not. That's not how it's going to go down. I'm sorry, but I need this match to actually do something more than that. So, rematch time. Like I said, fight at night. Um, Men in Black cuts in there, you forgot it. But, anyways. Close side by Owens to Black. All Black for a little bit rope by Owens. Owens has an advantage. Oh! What's he doing here? DDT to Black, bringing him back in the ring. I have no idea why Ricochet tried that. But Ricochet is back to the outside and runs straight back in. Oh! Oh, Kevin drops him on his back. Alistair. Finally connects with it. German suplex of black. Picks him up. A punch. Puts him up to the top rope. Grappling him here. What's he gonna do? No. Spanish fly! Kevin's hanging there. And a backbuster! Oh my god! Kevin would just hang in there like a like a duck after that brilliant Spanish fly by Ricochet. Oh, reversal by Ricochet. Oh, it's reversing again. A chop. What's he gonna do here? Oh, backdrop. Turn the light on, so I'll just like split it up for you. You're right there, cat. <laughs> my cat's kind of just sprawled out across the top of my bed. <sighs> but, anyways, oh, Tree of Woe by Black there. The popcorn's out and ready for this match. I'll tell you that. Oh my. Oh, a knee to Kevin's abdomen. Oh, a stop to Kevin. Knee to Owens there. Black with the ladder. Hits always with the ladder. Black sets it up now. But I have to realise Ricochet's now up and so's Owens. Ricochet Black on top of the ladder. This could be dangerous. Oh, a punch by Black. Another punch by Black. Ricochet reverses with a punch. Oh, it's Ricochet. Ricochet throws Black off. And is this Ricochet's chance? What's Kevin doing? He's throwing Black up as well. Pretty much guaranteed whoever wins this bow will become the champion. Multiple punches by Ricochet. And he's done. Black is up. Goes behind Kevin. Punches Kevin in the back at leg. Again. One more for good measures. Oh, he pulls Kevin off for a power bomb. Black up to the top now. This is it. 
Black wins! Black wins the IC title, retains. We have a lackluster match tonight, but a good one at that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Take care. You want to find out what Drew McIntyre's stipulation is? Stay tuned. You want to find out the IC title's opponent? Stay tuned. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Stay safe and peace.